teachers, parents, lend me your ears. If you are tired of having your students see all of these random suggested videos or seeing my channel and all kinds of crazy stuff pop up on the right hand side, seeing advertisements and uncontrollable videos show up on the home page of YouTube, I may have found the solution that works just for you. So on this page, I'm going to show you at the end of this video, look how serene. Nothing is here. No suggested videos, nothing on the right hand side and on the YouTube homepage, oddly enough, no videos at all. How did we accomplish this? Well, we installed a Google Chrome extension. Google Chrome extensions are like apps that are installed inside of the Google Chrome web browser. So if you notice at the bottom of my toolbar here, I have this little icon. It's like a circle. It's red, green, yellow, blue. It's a little ball. That's Google Chrome. You may have Safari if you're on Mac. You may have Firefox installed. Those are also web browsers. Google Chrome allows you to install these extensions that give your browser extra superpowers. So this particular one allows you to remove recommended videos, comments, autoplay bars, all kinds of other things. So on this home page here, you'll see there's nothing. It doesn't have to be this draconian. If you look at the top right of Google Chrome up here, you're going to notice a couple of different extensions I have and this play button with a circle around it. When I hover, it says clean up YouTube. Um, when I click on that extension, it gives me a couple of different options. So some of these are already checked off for me. If I uncheck this one that says hide homepage feed, all of those homepage videos pop right back up, right? Um, I can hide recommended, all kinds of different things here. When this is installed by using these steps, you can also remove it from Chrome. However, for GCDS parents, uh, sorry, for GCDS faculty and GCDS students, we have pushed this out to every user within our organization. Now for schools who are watching this or parents who may not know what the Google Apps for Education Suite uh, does, our school can essentially push out these extensions as long as your child is signed in to a web browser like Google Chrome. So here we are and I can see I'm signed in with my profile picture right up here. I click, I can see my GCDS.net email account. When your children are at home, what you can do is install the Google Chrome web browser, click at the top right, make sure that they sign into Google Chrome with their school account. And this extension will be installed by default. If you want to adjust those settings, we'll leave those there. If you want us to uh, control those settings, what we're going to do is look at how we can lock down this application. I'm sorry, this extension uh, so that the, none of the settings can be changed. But for now, I think this is a remarkably easy solution to what has been a particularly vexing problem to teachers and parents alike who are trying to use YouTube for its educational value.